Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to set up the Think or Swim platform. Basically, I will show you how to download the platform and then I will take you through the steps of how to scan for stocks, set up a watch list and how to place a trade. So the first thing you want to do is go to Google and search for Think or Swim download and just choose the first search result that comes up here, download Think or Swim desktop instructions and click that. And then download Think or Swim for your computer, whether it be a Windows, Mac or Linux. Once you've completed the download, go and open the program by clicking here. And then go ahead and log in here. Now notice you do have the option to use paper money or you click this button here and you'll go to live trading. If you're new to day trading, I highly recommend that you use the paper trading account first for at least two weeks to a month and prove that you can be consistently profitable. I don't recommend to just start blindly trading on a live account with no experience as it is highly likely that you will blow up your account and lose all of your money. Also try to use a realistic dollar amount when you use the paper trading account, whether that be $500 or $5,000, as it is important to keep it as realistic as possible so you can learn exactly what it will be like when you do start trading live. Now that we are in Think or Swim, let's add a tool that is helpful when day trading called VWAP or Variable Weighted Average Price. This is very helpful to show you the potential support and resistance levels throughout the day. Now if you want to learn more about VWAP, I've put a link in the description below. So to enable VWAP, go to the top of the chart and click here on Studies and scroll down to Edit Studies and click that. And then just come to the left hand side here and type in VWAP and double click on VWAP here. Now to customize VWAP, double click on it here and this pop-up window will allow you to change the appearance. So you can choose the color of the line down here. So let's choose yellow and then let's make the line wider by changing the width here from number one to number two. Then I like to take out the upper and lower band as it can become a bit confusing with so many lines on the chart. So to do this, just click here where it says upper band and deselect these three tabs here, one, two, Three. Then come across to here, click lower band and deselect the same three tabs here, one, two, three. Then click OK and click OK again. And now you can see the VWAP line clearly here. The next settings I use is level two and time and sales. And these tools give me a better understanding of how many buyers and sellers there are in the current stock and if they're actually buying or selling the stock. So to open level two and time and sales, just come across to the right hand side of the chart and click level two here. Then just scroll up a little bit higher to where it says time and sales here and click time and sales. So now we have level two here at the bottom and time and sales here on the right hand side. And if you wanna change the size of each of these windows, you can simply just bring your mouse to here and you can scroll across. And the same with level two, you bring your mouse to here, scroll down or up. If you would like to learn more about level two, I've also put a link in the description below that goes into greater detail. Now that these are both open, I'll show you how to open a preset watch list. So first, just make sure that this screen here on the left hand side is open. To do so, just click on the small arrow. That closes it, you click the arrow again and it opens this section here. Then go down to the bottom of the screen and click this plus button here. And when this screen pops up, go and click on watch list here. Now to choose a preset watch list, just click here and you'll see that there are a lot of options to choose from down here. All these are different watch lists. So let's just choose this one for instance, top 10 sizzling stocks. Next you'll want to link this watch list to your chart so you can easily access each stock just by clicking on the stock. So to do this, just go to the little link button here and click this and choose one of these options here. Let's say green, number four. Then to link this to your charts, go up to where the ticker is here and click on this little button and make sure the same button is clicked, green, number four. And now you'll notice when I click on the stocks in the watch list here, they automatically open up in the charts on the right hand side. So next, if you want to scan for certain stocks, you can go to the top of the screen and just click the scan button here. Then go over to the button with the three lines on it here and click load scan and query, we'll choose top 10. And then let's click top 10 active NASDAQ and scan. And that will bring up the search results for the top 10 active NASDAQ stocks. So next, let's look at how to place a trade. So go and click on the trade button up here. 
And the next setting you want to make sure you have open to place a trade is Active Trader. So come back across to the right hand side of the screen and as you'll see here it says Active Trader. Click that. Now you will see that you can select a predetermined amount of shares here such as 100, 300, 500, 1000 or 2000 shares. Or you can just enter the amount here in the box and select a specific amount. Say 222. Now if you want the order to go through straight away make sure the Auto Send tab is selected here with the tick. Then to place an order, click either Buy the Ask or Buy Market, which I'll do here, and you'll see my order go through. Just there, 222 shares. And just up here in the Active Trader, it'll show you my position size here, my average price here, and my profit and loss just here. So to close the order, either click Sell Market or Join the Ask, or flatten and you'll see the order close just there and you will notice my profit and loss is zero and if you want to short the stock the process is the same but in reverse so we'll come here and we'll click sell at market and the order has gone through here I position short here 222 shares at an average price of $44.88 my profit loss is here so it's minus $4.44 to close this order, come back to buy, click here, and it closes the order. As you can see just there, my order filled, and I have a profit and loss of $4.44. Now one more thing that can be helpful when you are trading is having the news feed open, so you can see if there is any relevant news on the stock you are watching. And to open this, just go to the right hand side of the screen, down to here where it says live news, and click on this button, and it'll open up the news section here. Now if you want to read any of these articles in more depth, just double click on one of them here like so, and it'll open a new window where you can read more information here. And that's just a quick way to set up Think or Swim. If you would like a copy of this setup, I've put a link in the description below where you can download it. So if you've found this video helpful, please hit the like button, and if you want more information on day trading, please consider subscribing.